am so thrilled that today we are up here at Ascension Wine Estate in Matakana, just a stone's throw from Auckland. Carly, thank you so much for having me up here. You're welcome, Nikki. It's, it's always a pleasure. It's an absolute treat to be up here, and we're so close to Auckland. We are, that's right. You're just 40 minutes, hop in your car, and you're here in no time. So, Now, Carly, what is your involvement here at Ascension? Well, I am the artisan of a moor, so I plan all of the weddings and I'm also the artisan of events. So basically, we cater for all kinds of celebrations here, so birthday parties, Christmas, corporate events, concerts. So I do all of those, basically. Great job to have. Oh, absolutely, love it. Now, Ascension has gone through quite a big change in recent months. Ascension sold in December last year, so it's been 10 months of renovations here repainting things, putting in new bars, doing new landscaping. So basically just bringing everything up to perfection really, that's the goal. And so that's been really exciting to see it all come together. Fantastic. Now tell me a little bit about the new owners, the new energy that they're bringing to everything. So you've got two sets of brothers who are the new owners. So you've got Alex and Mick. Sipka and they're into property development so they're great on the whole you know getting everything up to speed in that regard and also Alex has a real interest in wine and then you've got Gino and Kiro who are amazing Italian men who have the chain of Portof Portofino restaurants so basically they've got 30 years experience in the wow. Italian uh, cuisine so that's fantastic and they also have importing companies so we'll be having some amazing Italian wines on our menu as well which How is exciting. great. That's yeah. really great. Now let's talk a little bit about the atmosphere here at Ascension because it's very particular and unique. Mm -hmm. So basically Ascension is like a little slice of Tuscany and Matakana. It's a real world away from New Zealand, you come over the hill and you see it all laid out before you there and it really feels like you've taken a trip to Italy. And that's something we've really been working on with the menu. We have authentic Italian cuisine now. We're doing the Italian wines. We'll also be planting some Italian varieties here and oh, growing lovely. them in New Zealand. Great. So that'll be great. And um, it's just beautiful really. You know, we've got the beautiful rose gardens and the vines and the building style is really unique, just looks absolutely stunning with the Tuscan architecture, the bell tower, you know, it's just, it's really got old world charm. Mm -hmm. So what are the different areas that you could have your ceremony at? Well, we're lucky, we have quite a few options. Mm -hmm. Um, so outdoors, you can have your wed wedding actually out in the vineyard mm -hmm. under the vines and we've got a lovely area, the arbour, where we've grown all the vines up over that and it's just stunning to really get out there and make the most of the winery experience. Then we've got our beautiful courtyard garden and that has our raised garden beds which have both your herbs and your different flowers and everything, your roses, so that's gorgeous and then you can get married outside but under the bell tower. Then we've got the winery will be our new option. So, oh, exciting. So we're working on that at the moment, but that's going to be a really unique different space. And I think especially now a lot of couples are looking for something that doesn't have any religious connotations, mm -hmm. you know, so they don't want to have a chapel wedding. They want something different and unique in, in an indoor space. So basically we'll have the winery for that. We're also going to have an underground cellar. <gasps> Nice. So that's going to be amazing. So basically there'll be big plate glass windows in the floor where you can see down to the cellar. And then the winery will be uh, operational but also looking fantastic. So we have all the barrels on the walls and all the vats and it's going to look amazing. Yeah, yeah. and we do have some other indoor spaces as well. So we also have the chapel mm -hmm. if you are a little bit more traditional or if the parents are. A lot of couples, you know, they have to make a couple of compromises for mum and dad yeah. somewhere along the way. And we also have our beautiful schist lounge. 
So really a lot of ceremony options as well. Fantastic. What about the reception? Where, does, where do people traditionally hold their reception? So we've got our belfry on site, um, so that's our function centre. We just call it the belfry because it sounds prettier and also it's got a gorgeous bell tower. So we can seat up to 220 people in there. That's quite a substantial number. It really is. Yeah. It, we are one of the biggest venues in Auckland. Probably the only bigger venues would be in the city hotels. Right. So yeah, that's always a bonus. We've got lots of space here. Now that's the big room that also has that beautiful stained glass window, isn't it? That's right, yes, that does have a gorgeous stained glass window feature as well. But there obviously there are also some couples that pre pre would prefer not to have the stained glass window, but so that can be covered up if they choose not to have that? Yes, that's right, I've just got blinds that match the wall, we just close it off. And also another really popular option, as you'd know, is the fairy light curtains. We've mentioned food, you've told us about the new Italian influence with the menu. What about the different food options that couples can choose in forms of things like a buffet or a plated? So I do find most couples are still going either for a buffet or a set menu. Mm -hmm. So we do both options. Right. And I think for brides, they just need to think about the tone of their day. You know, is it a more formal occasion or is it a more social occasion? Um, one real strength of buffet is it doesn't take as long to serve. So, you know, if you're spending a lot of money on a band or a DJ and you basically just want to get to the party time, then I would probably suggest a buffet. And then if you're wanting a really formal, elegant feeling, then a set menu is gorgeous as well. And I'm assuming that people can create their own menus? Absolutely. And I do find I have a lot of couples who are Southeast Asian or they're from the islands, they're from China, and they do need to have some authentic cuisine from their culture. Mm -hmm. So quite often we will do a custom menu for that. So we might do a buffet and then add some other dishes so that are more traditional. To them. Absolutely, Fantastic. and basically they can tell us exactly what they need and we'll prepare it for them so our chef can cook anything. Brilliant. It's pretty much worked all over the world in all cuisine types. So that's great for me. You know, I can go to them and tell them anything I need. Now, I'm finding as a wedding planner that there are more and more calls for a cocktail style wedding. Are you getting more inquiries for cocktail style weddings at Ascension? Yes, we have been getting a few more inquiries for that. Mm -hmm. And we do offer quite a few different options. A high tea style option. That's a lovely option. quite popular. Mm -hmm. And then also, so you've got just your canapes. So canapes are traditionally a one bite size menu option. So we also do our walk and fork, which I'm sure you've heard of. It's a little bit more substantial. So it is one thing to consider if you're going to go for one of these styles is that you still have guests drinking for quite some time and just to make sure that you're providing enough food that you know we don't need to call a taxi for everyone at the end of the Absolutely. night. Absolutely, <laughs> you need those booze soakers because you people are drinking and you need yes. to be a responsible host and that's one thing you need to get across to, to all couples that are watching. Absolutely. Um, and the other thing is just making sure that you book reliable suppliers. That's so important. Yeah, so we're part of the Wedding Associates mm -hmm. and that group is set up to kind of help people find those, those really good suppliers. So basically I've got a little pack that I send out to all my brides and that's their starting point for their planning. Is there lots of accommodation in the area? There is quite a lot of accommodation and I also send out a recommended accommodation list to my brides Basically, they can then just email that out to people. So they're not planning accommodation for 120 guests. They're just sending them a list and saying, you know, if you're thinking about staying in the area, here's some options. How does a couple come along, want to view, and then two to book their wedding? What's the process? By all means, if you're already up here, just drop in. If you're planning a trip, just give me a call and then I can make sure I'm available because you know, we'll try some wines, we'll have a coffee, we'll talk about the whole day. Carly, thank you so much. We have absolutely loved our time up here. It is such a beautiful space, so I'm highly recommending it to everybody. Oh, thank you. Well, cheers, cheers, Nikki. Cheers.